the real reason I want to vlog is just to connect and talk with people. I love people. And I can't think of something more exciting and fun than to be able to just have conversations with anyone in the world by making videos. And I love editing videos too, which is so fun. Get to make content and connect with people, make the world feel small. I'm trying to wake up earlier again. I went to the coffee shop. I wanted to make today the best day I've ever had in my life. Oh wow, some new gear, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I went over my songs that I'm planning to record and it got me so excited. So excited to see the progress because a lot of times I may doubt myself that what I'm doing or all the work I put on music is it any good, is it worth my time? And today I had a really nice reassuring morning at the coffee shop from 6.30 to about 8.15 going over my songs and realizing, wow, I can do this. I wrote it in big letters, I can do this. <laughs> And now I'm here at the gym, it's about 8.30. I'm gonna do a 10 minute workout, more like, more like pliability stuff. I think that's the word. And then I'm meeting someone at 10 o'clock to talk about the album. Um, working on some side hustle money stuff. Finances is where I'm slacking right now, but I'm feeling pretty good overall about my health, my food choices, the direction I'm in, the mindset I'm de developing the routine, the discipline, the good habits. I don't know how I feel about the vlog thing yet. I'm still feeling it out. If anything, it's really cool and great accountability for myself because right now I'm talking out loud about my life. And it's if I don't like how it sounds or if I feel like I'm not living up to my potential, I need to do something about it. So it's a nice accountability piece. Um, all right, I'm gonna do this workout and we'll check in with you soon. Yo, yo, just coming at you with the voiceover. I wanted to spitball a little bit on visualization, something I haven't done much of, but right now um, I'm really starting to see and feel the power of it um, now that I'm focusing on it more. Back in high school, I played basketball and some of my coaches would say to visualize my shot and put the ball down and see it going in. And I thought it was just like, yeah, whatever, let me grab the real ball and go practice with the real ball because that's real. And it's not until recently that I'm starting to see how effective and powerful it is to visualize things before they happen. So not only in basketball, but for me, like preparing to sing something or prepare for an event that's about to go happen, I imagine it over and over again with an image in my mind and I see the best case scenario and I feel it. Like, what does it feel like to win? 